Yo, so many people are considering skipping Jian for Yellen. You might be a follower for Kumer Beta, or you actually might think that Yellen is very good. And as somebody who's gonna skip Jian, I don't think the answer to the question is yes for everybody. I absolutely believe that probably most people shouldn't skip Jian. And that's why today I'm gonna tell you why. If you really wanna skip Jian for Yellen, you should know actually what Yellen does and why you actually have to get her. So I'm gonna show you what her kit is as fast as possible i'm not gonna take so much time of yours and of course before anything make sure to play any character that you want these are just meta takes but let's talk about yinlin so yinlin is basically a sub dps so this character can be used as an off-field dps so she can deal damage while you're using another character we do not have so much sub dps's in this game for now but for what we have now we have a great great example and a sub dps will be very good for your team but the thing is for Yinlin, her DPS is insanely AoE without limitations. All you have to do is hit everybody with your ability, use your forty circuit, and then when you switch to another character, whenever the on-field character hits an enemy, she will deal damage. You can compare her to somewhat like Sinksho or Beidou, but with a significant amount of damage. So, her kit looks good, but that's not the most important thing. The reason why you should consider Yinlin is that she's a good electric buffer. So Yinlin's outro skill increases electro damage by 20%. That will make your electro DPS does so much more damage. But not only that, she increases the resonance liberation damage bonus by 25%. So your ultimate will do 25% more damage. So she's not only a great electro buffer, she's also a very good buffer overall. The thing is, this buff lasts for like 14 seconds and it's more than enough for your main DPS has to do everything that he needs. Illis kit doesn't end here. She also has a very powerful ultimate, which is like a nuke. So with all that said, this makes Yinlin a character that is hard to be power crept. Although it looks like Kuro game will handle power creep in a good way, but Yinlin looks very future proof. But we shouldn't only look at Yinlin. Let's look at Jian. Jian is undoubtedly the best DPS in the game. And the best two things about Jian, in my opinion, is that he's very easy to use you don't need complex combos jian is basically a powerful onga bonga and what makes him more onga bonga is that he has a very big aoe now i actually might argue that yenlin looks more future proof than jian she also looks better for your teams and she's probably better for your account but here's the thing you actually don't even have to skip jian for so many different reasons some people can skip jian and some people actually don't have to so if you're a Aiming for a C0 Yenlin without her weapon, the amount of rewards that we're getting in 1.0 in Weathering Waves are actually enough to get both characters. It doesn't entirely guarantee the characters, but like 250 or 260 poles is like more than 3 5 stars. So if you actually grind the game a lot, even if you lose 1 50 50, you still have a chance to get Yenlin. But the difference now is for people who are aiming for more things. I, for example, I'm aiming for getting the Yenlin weapon and i'm still not sure but also i want the next characters in the game i want the both 1.1 characters jinchi looks cool and the other girl looks cool and me personally i prefer calcharo more than jian i play jian in the beta a lot calcharo and jian are both so much fun and actually getting jian now will help you a lot in the uh, abyss but for me it's enough now another type of people who should skip jian are the people who are aiming for some constellations or dupes or wave bands for Yinlin. Because if you get the first two wave bands of Yinlin, your Yinlin will probably be way more powerful. So if you manage to get her first wave band with Gacha, and as I said, you probably can get three five stars, so you might actually get the two, but let's say that you lost one 50 50, you will probably have enough to buy one of her dupes from the store. But again, I think most people only care about the character. They don't want to get a C1, they don't want to get a weapon. So if you're not considering that, you actually shouldn't skip Jian. I don't think this is a good idea. Having a good DPS from the start will insanely help you in the game. And even with considering getting the 1.1 characters, that, as I said, we'll probably get enough pulls for the next banners. I mean, it's not guaranteed. We will see how Kuro Games does that. And that's why, even though I'm gonna skip Jian, I don't think most people should do it, but I tried as much as possible 
to think about the different perspectives of any player and so i hope i actually saw your perspective and helped you decide if you want to get the Gian or if you want to go all in for Yellen. after the first couple updates and days people are finally enjoying the game and i'm so happy for them and if you want more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe anyway that was the video bye bye